Hi everybody, we are Dreaming Green Girl. My name is Rebecca, I'm your certified personal trainer, and this is my lovely assistant, Nora. And we're here today to bring you your level one arm workout. But don't be fooled, it's super hard, and it's definitely gonna get you the results that you want. So let's get started. Take your feet a little bit further than hip width distance apart. Arms are nice and strong, right out to the side. Big arm circles to the front, here we go. Nice and easy. Stomach twat, nice and tight, and we're gonna be here for 30 repetitions. Excellent, I want nothing to move except the arms. So you're squeezing your glutes, engaging your core muscles, everything is nice and tight. Shoulders are drawn back, so we have a nice tall posture. Looking great. Got 10 more. In five, four, three, two, one. Good, other side, we're gonna go all the way to the back. Same thing. So now I just want you to focus on rounding the shoulders back. Drawing the chest up, nice tall spine. Looking good, guys. Who thought arm circles would burn so much? But these are really hard. That burn is the lactic acid building up in your muscles. Very normal. Just nice deep breaths, focus on the breathing. And keep those arms as straight as possible. And five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, not giving those arms a rest yet. So, getting it nice and low, just gonna sit into a squat. Chest is up, hips are back, arms are up like we're going to punch because that's exactly what we're going to do. First, we're going to start alternating left and right. Here we go. And left, right, left, right. Perfect. We're going to alternate for a little while, warm up the arms. Now, if you're looking in a mirror, it's like your fist is going right into your face. So you're just looking to punch straight out. Fists are leaving your chin, and we're going back and forth. You can rotate a little bit to the side, back and forth, get some core work. Excellent. When I say go, we're gonna just destroy each arm on its own, and we're gonna pound it out, each arm, one at a time. Ready, and in five, four, three, two, left arm only. Ready, and 10, nine, double time. Eight, good, seven, six, and five, four, perfect, three, Two, right into the other side. Go, go, perfect. Very good. And three, two, one. Good, shake it out. Bring it down to the floor. I want you to set this up. We're not gonna do a normal modified push-up. We're gonna change it a little bit. So I want you to come down to all fours. Set up knees under hips, wrist creases under shoulders, slight bend in the elbows, never lock them out. We're gonna bring our forehead, so the hairline, right down to the floor. Okay, here we go. Elbows out to the side, all the way down. We're here for 20. Down, elbows out to the side, and push. Two, three. So the hips stay up. Different than a normal modified push-up. Really targeting the front deltoids here. Halfway there. Get that hairline all the way to the mat. Foreheads touch. And four, three, two, and one. Very good, so you should feel the upper body nice and warmed up. Now we're gonna go all the way down onto your belly. Fingernails are gonna get right underneath the shoulders. Lower body is relaxed. Let's touch the big toes together. Kind of takes the glutes out of the picture. And we're gonna keep the elbows glued to the side of the body. So I never want the elbows to leave the body. You should always touch. Let's press up the upper body all the way up. Get a good squeeze behind the arms and lower. Good, and up, and lower. We're here for 20. Focus on your breathing. Good, and keep those elbows tight. Now we're focusing on your tricep. It's that nice muscle in the back of the arms. It's really gonna give your arms a nice shape once you get these tones. Halfway there, looking great. We have five left. Should definitely feel that burn. Three, two, one. Excellent, great job. Shake it out. Give yourself a nice little breather. All right, now we're gonna work our upper back muscles. So we're gonna stay belly on the ground Arms fully extended out to the side. All right, I want you guys 
to lift up upper body, keeping that lower body still on the ground, and the arms come up as wide as they can. Shoot the arms out to the side, bring them up nice and wide, and tap down. Ready? Up, down. Perfect. Remember, we're not using any weights here, so you really have to focus on contracting the muscle and your form, okay? As you would with the weight, but since we have no weight, we're focusing on that squeeze. Three, two, and one. Excellent. We're going right into a side plank. So keep the momentum going. All right, we're going to take the top leg, cross it over the bottom leg. We're setting ourselves up. You're going to take a forearm plank. I'm going to take a straight arm. Two different versions of the same move. Straight arm is a little bit more advanced. Push yourself up to get into your side plank. Top arm is straight up. Make sure you're in one nice long line. We're going to reach all the way down. Tap the floor. Come back up. Tap and come back up. Good. We're only here for 10. Keep the bellies tight. And keep the hips up away from the floor. And four, three, two, one. Perfect. Other side. Very good. All right. Top leg comes over. Wrist creases underneath your shoulder. Pop yourself up. Hips are up. Stomach's tight. Here we go. And down and up. Perfect. Looking good. One more. Excellent. Okay. Bring it back up. Now, just like we did in the beginning with the arm circles and the punches, all arm stuff, except you're not allowed to put them down. That's your challenge. Let's see if we can do it. So we're going to start with your arms straight out, palms up. Just get into a nice, comfortable, neutral stance. So make sure all your weight's distributed on your bottoms of your feet throughout the whole foot. So make sure you're not leaning too far back, too far forward, nice and neutral. We're going to come in, tap your shoulders, and bring your arms straight back out. In and out. You want to keep the elbows away from your body and up in the air. Don't get tired and drop them. They have to stay up in the air. That's what's going to make them work. Doing great. Everything we do here is going to be in sets of 30. So we've got 30 reps here. Looking good. Awesome. Keep going. Almost there. 10 more. Should be burning. Just get through this. We have a whole bunch of different variations, and then you're done. And you're going to start to feel that upper body get nice and tight and toned. The more you do it, the better off you'll be, and it's going to get you all nice and prepped for our level two arm workout. Last one. Good. Out to the side. Here we go. Tap in and out. Nice and strong. Make the muscle contract as you come in, and nice and strong when you come out. Looking great. So we're slow and controlled here, nice light movements, but squeezing that muscle, making it work without weight. So there's no excuse. You can do this anytime, anywhere. Almost there. We have five left. Stay with us. Don't drop those arms. Try to make it through the whole thing. You're almost done. Two, one. Palms forward. Drop the elbows. Drive the hands all the way up. Down and up. Good. You want to drop the elbows all the way down, because that's going to give us a good stretch into the upper back, too. Not just your shoulder muscles, but it's going to go all the way down into those rhomboids and the trapezius muscles. Doing great, guys. Feeling the burn. Feels good. Warming up that upper body. We have 10 more here. Stay with us. One more move after this. You can do it, guys. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Face this direction. We're going to show you a nice flat back here. Head, back, and butt all in one line. Arms are down. We're going to fly them up and come down. Up and down. Bring them up as high as you can, squeezing the shoulder blades together, but also getting your shoulder blades away from your ears. So as the shoulder blades are drawing down your back, you're pinching them together, 
as you lift up your arms. So we're not building up our trap muscles, but we're getting nice, long, lean shoulders. Ten more here. And that's it. So stay with us. Eight, seven, the final countdown. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! That was awesome. Great job, guys. Remember, we do have a level two arm workout. So keep doing this one. Build up those muscles. And if this gets easy for you, tune in for us for our level two because it's a killer. Awesome job. Stay with us. Can't wait to see you guys soon. Have a great day.